Hello tubers, it's your crazy British bloke here. Well, I was going to start this in the morning, but uh, don't be me, forgot to get the camera out, so let me show you where we are. We are at a great big gaff today. Look at this. Right, there's the old noof up there, look. Just doing a spot of painting. Just a couple of touch-up spots. And I'm over in here. Look at this. Brandy new garage. Looks really nice. They had all this work done, look. Hey, lovely, isn't it, eh? Hey? you like that. Right. Now, inside this garage, as you can see, it's very plain. They've got a lot of tools and some of their belongings. And what they want is they want some shelving all the way along here. And then down that end, some sort of pegboard type of effect to put all their tools up on. I'm thinking of making something a bit nicer than just normal pegboard if we can get it. And also underneath here, it's a soft top for a Mercedes and I've got to somehow rig up i got to hang that up somehow so I've already started I've got one of the shelves made and uh, I've got the lumber here there's all the shelf tops and I've got my big saw so I I'm going to be doing that with the help of the Noof in a minute when he's uh, done a little bit of undercoating on the bubbly paint once he's done that he's going to come and give me a hand so we'll get this up and I'll film some bits as we go along maybe I'll leave the camera on for a little bit okay We're in the movie, but. Alright, you've got that block of wood out, yeah? Okay. So that one out. Thank you. 
Well, we've done the painting, well, the Noof did, and we've got most of this up now, but unfortunately, the batteries have gone flat. We just, uh, we put one on charge, and the other one we added in the other saw, and uh, we've used it down a bit quick. So, uh, I'm gonna go home now, finish this off tomorrow. Let me show you. There. Now that is what we've done. That's what he wanted. He wanted somewhere with a nice lot of shelving. So I mean, they're good. You can put great big totes on all of those. You can put the totes all the way across. That's a lot of shelving. Then there's a bench there that he can like, sort of bench that he can, you know, do some stuff that's at sort of normal height. You can put push lawn mowers and things underneath there. Now this area here is gonna be for the roof of his Mercedes. And we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a sort of shelf in there the, the windows and that will sit on, it's got rubber on it and then some sort of bar across the front with rubber on the back of it to stop it coming off with a couple of big wing nuts or something to hold it in there and uh, I think that's what he's looking for and it's be out the way, it'll be back behind those shelves so that'll be good and then you know we've got to finish it off like I said, hey there's a split bit of wood there bud, look at that rubbish rubbish you get from bloody what was it? Home Depot again, wasn't it? Yeah. And then in this corner here, we're going to board all this out, like in the corner and out to there. And then that is going to be for all of those tools. So, I don't know. It looks pretty good. That's what he wanted. A bit of cheap lumber. So, what do you think, Noof? I think it looks great. I think it looks good. He's going to like that when he comes in here. So, until tomorrow, 
well, I might bring the camera and I'll show you it when it's all finished and how we get that roof in there. But until tomorrow, I'll talk to you a lot later. Right, it's a couple of days later. We haven't been here all the time, but we just came and finished off the last little bit. Had a clean up, so I'll show you what we did. Yeah. I think you saw that on the video. You fit all the totes in there. Totes right the way across the top. There's a couple of shelves there. You can actually utilize that one as a bit of a bench or, I don't know, she can do, she does any potting or anything, I don't know, put stuff on there. Big area underneath there for like his push mower and stuff like that. And then we put this arrangement up in the corner here for all these tools. I mean, we've put a few things up, but it has load more hooks. He can do what he wants and put them how he wants, yeah? They just slide in and slide along. Cool. And then I made this arrangement up here for this. It's like a little table with some rubber on it. And the, uh, the lid of his uh, Mercedes fits on there nice. It's got a couple of blocks so that, I mean, it can't slide off. And then there's a bar at the back down in there. Down there there's a bar that the hood rests against. So, I mean, I think that's pretty safe. I think that's what he's looking for. And it's out the way, it's not going to get bashed, so, yeah. That's the little job we did for him. Quite nice. Let me know what you think.